Hi beauties and welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today I'm just gonna bring you along with me. I'm doing a little vlog. I have some errands to do. I need to run into the salon. Um, I just got out of the shower, washed and blow dried my hair and I use my Sutra blow drying brush. If you wanna see how I use this brush, um, I will link a video below um, where I just showed you guys a tutorial of how I use this brush. I love using this blow dry brush. Um, I have not taken the flat iron to my hair yet. Um, and as you can see, like if I did need to take the flat iron to my hair, um, it would just be to like maybe touch up my roots or something. I think I've got a couple of curly pieces back here, but for the most part, like look at the body that this blow drying brush gives your hair. I absolutely love it. And um, because of my hair texture, I don't have to use a lot of products in my hair. So I usually do a leave-in conditioner and then um, just like a, a defrizz cream. So I'll also link below what brands that I like to use for my hair texture. Um, so right now I am just getting ready. I need to, like I said, run errands. I'm gonna be going to Old Navy. I gotta take some stuff back. I also wanna go buy Marshalls and then I'm going into the salon. Uh, Paris is going to her Nana and Poppy's house this weekend, so I also got to pack her bag. That way when I get off work, I can go scoop her up, and then we're going to go over to Tennessee so she can spend the weekend with them. Um, so yeah, I guess just continue to watch. All right, beauty. So of course, I'm going to start by pulling my hair back, and I am going to prime my face. I absolutely love this primer. It is by Too Faced. And I always start with my brows and as you can see, you just use a spoolie to brush them out and then I'm filling them in with eyeshadow. It's actually just a dark brown eyeshadow. If you've watched my previous vlogs or any of my makeup vlogs, I go over this step and that step-by-step um, -step process on how I achieve my brows. So I'm just filling these in step by step and then after I fill them in, I am going to sculpt them. And so now that my brows are filled in, I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I actually mix two different colors to get the perfect shade. Um, they do have several different shades to match your skin tone or whatever tone you like to use for um, brow sculpting, but because I have multiple skin tones that I work with, um, I just usually mix the colors and it works out fine to achieve the perfect skin tone color that I need. But like I've said, if you go and watch my other makeup vlogs, you'll see um, how I sculpt my brows and I tell you step-by-step -step instructions. Um, on this day, I was just trying to hurry and get ready to go run errands. So I just wanted to show you just like a quick makeup routine um, of me getting ready and what I do. I get a hundred questions a day about my brows. People always ask me, are your brows microbladed? No, they're not. It takes me 15 minutes every single day to put my brows on and they are very important to me. Now I'm going in with the Norvina palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I don't really use this palette that much. As you can see, um, the shimmery eyeshadows have kind of fallen out. They're really pigmented, so it makes them fall out easier. Um, but I really love the shimmery colors with this palette. So I'm just going in here and I'm honestly just doing like a rush job of eyeshadow. But like I said, I still wanted to record this for you guys. It's 
definitely time for some new makeup brushes. I recently just purchased these. Um, if again, if you've watched my past vlogs, um, I lost like my whole set of makeup brushes that I had been collecting for years. Um, so this is a fairly new set that I've bought from Ulta Beauty. It is Morphe brushes, but I use them so much doing weddings. I've got to get a new set of brushes. Comment below and let me know what your favorite brand of brushes are. Now I'm just applying the glue to my lashes. I love to use the Duo and I put it right on that lash strip and I let it sit for a little bit and get sticky while I finish the rest of my makeup routine. So I applied my foundation. I use um, Too Faced Born This Way 24 hour matte foundation and it literally looks like I've got airbrush foundation on. And then I'm going back in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer under my eyes. And then I did a little highlighting on my nose, my chin, and my forehead. brushes I wash them and I literally don't have anything to put my makeup on with so I, I put my blush on with this because it was like all I could find oh my god I look like a clown <laughs> look at my cheeks <laughs> anyways I'm about to put these lashes on real quick Ugh, lashes make the look if you don't know how to put on lashes um just message me. I can teach you how to do that. It took me forever to learn to put on lashes until I learned what the key is. And the key to putting on lashes is your glue. Um, I like the Duo. I usually like the black one because it blends in better, but they didn't have it at Walmart when I went. And you can get that glue from Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Target, wherever the beauty supply store has it. Um, sorry, I'm trying to concentrate. I'm just putting these things on. So you can see, like, I've been doing this for so long. I just literally, like, throw them on. But, yeah, like, I need a brush so I can blend in my makeup because I look like a clown right now. I think I'm going to put just a little bit of brown eyeshadow near my waterline. I can't decide if I want a middle part or if I want a side part because from what I have been hearing is the side part is out of date now and the middle part is what's trending. So y'all let me know which do you like better. I think I like the middle part right now. I'll show you both ways and you can let me know what you think. All right, middle part, very classy. And then this is my side part. And I rotate which side. I just want volume, honey. So this is the side part. I don't know. I feel like this makes me look like a mom, okay? But the middle part, you can see some of my gray hairs. The middle part makes me look younger. It's just my personal opinion. You guys can let me know what you think. All right, next, lips, honey. I wanna get my lips done so bad, but it's freaking expensive and I just can't bring myself to spending $1,200 on a set of lips. So I'm gonna draw mine on for what, $3? Every time I talk about getting my lips done, people are like, oh, you don't need your lips done. It's a personal preference, like, it's what I want. I've had them done before, 
and it was just enough. They look voluptuous. It's my top lip, y'all. That's the problem. And I would like my bottom lip just to be a little more pouty. So I'm using, I swear to God, I think I got this at Sally's, this uh, lip liner. It's called Palladio and Pre Precision Lip Liner. It doesn't say what color it is, but it's like a maroon color. I love this. And then I put a nude inside. So pretty. So I'm gonna use the Morph. Let me turn this around for you guys. And this is School Girl. Mm -hmm, that's me. I'm a school girl. So I'm gonna I might mix this. Let me see what this looks like first. I put it on the back of my hand. Oh, I like it. I want it to look kind of ombre-ish. So I'm gonna go back in with my lip liner. What do you think? I think my lips look bigger. Now I'm just gonna add a little gloss, a little glossy gloss. All right, lip gloss has been applied. Makeup is done. I am gonna blend it a little more, don't worry. <laughs> so now, because I'm kind of in a hurry, you know filming takes a long time. So now I am going to go pack Paris's suitcase for her to go with her Nana and Poppy. And then we are going to Marshalls and Old Navy. So just keep following me. All right, so I'm dressed. I'm trying to get a picture for you guys in the full length mirror. Please excuse it, it's dirty. But this is my outfit. Fashion Nova jeans. Boots are from Target. Fashion Nova top. Let me see if you can see better over here. Yeah, so anyways. This is the outfit of the day again. I'm sorry my mirror is so dirty. I'm ready for fall, can you tell? Hey y'all, so we're almost to Target. Target. See, Target's calling my name. I wanna go, but I'm not gonna go. I'm gonna be a good girl. I'm not going to Target. We're not going to Target. Okay, so we're on our way to Old Navy to return something, and then I'm going to Marshall's. Um, I wanna go to Marshall's. I'm looking for like the little clear drawers that they have that you can like put stuff in. Um, not big. They're like the like you put them on your your counters in your bathroom or something. Um, I want to set up our little wax station at the salon because I've been doing a lot of waxing and um, I just want to set that up kind of cute and organize that today and yeah so I feel good I just wanted to talk to you guys like I feel so happy right now in my last little quick vlog that I um, recorded for you I was just telling you how um, I'm at a really good place in my life right now and that has to do because I made myself a promise when I turned 30 years old this year. I made myself a promise that the next 30 years of my life, like I'm gonna make, I'm sorry if this is shaking, it's cause I'm driving. Um, I'm gonna make the next 30 years of my life like like count for something, you know what I'm saying? Like not saying that the, these 30 years didn't count, like I've learned so much, but like now it's like apply pressure, like it's go time and um, so I wanted to go back to school. So I am back in school full time and I'm working in my career, which I absolutely love, which is cosmetology. Um, the reason why I'm going back to school is because I never finished. I just dropped out of college and went to cosmetology school, which there's nothing wrong with that because I feel like it was meant to be because this is my passion, but I don't like to start something and not finish it. And plus like I'm a role model for my daughter. So I'm trying to teach her like, 
you know, it doesn't matter how long it takes you to get there, just get there. So, oh my God, Ulta, shut the hell up. Ah, we've been waiting for so long for Ulta in South Asheville. I go to oh my God, I'm freaking out, you guys. Finally, an Ulta beauty over here. Oh my God, I'm so happy. I know that I'm being so dramatic. I can't help it. All right, so we're... We're, we're done getting excited about that. There's a guy watching me right now in his vehicle looking all creepy and shit. Excuse my language, looking all creepy. And he's probably like, why is she recording herself? Because I have a YouTube channel. So I'm about to um, get my stuff together and I'm going into Old Navy. Follow me. so muggy out here and I'm wearing fall clothes. I hate that. It's so annoying. I'm like burning up. Okay, so I just got out of Marshall's. I didn't vlog that much in there because I always feel weird vlogging in the store where people are like watching you. Um, but this is what I got to put our um, waxing stuff in. It's just clear drawers. I really like it. So now I'm going to either go buy Dunkin' or Starbucks because I want something pumpkin spice and then we're going to this one. Hey y'all, so I'm here in Dunkin' Donuts line, but I just thought of something that I wanted to talk to y'all about and I'd love to hear your feedback on how you would handle this or what you would teach your children. Um, I picked up my daughter from school yesterday and she proceeded to tell me when I asked her how her day was um, that this little boy um, in her class this little boy, she always tells me, has like these frequent outbursts, okay? So I always tell her just like stay away from him, just ignore him, like whatever. Um, but yesterday he got mad at her and her friends and said that they always tattle on him and that um, they don't play with him because they think he's bad, which from what she told me, he is bad. So who wants to play with a bad kid? But anyways, he told her that girls are weak and that if he hit her, he could knock her out. So my first instinct was, oh, we about to go to the school. Call his mom. <laughs> like that was my first instinct, okay? But obviously like we can't teach our kids to be like that. So I told her this morning, cause she was really upset about it and she almost like, she didn't want to go to school. And I'm like, no, we're not gonna keep some bully from allowing you to enjoy your day. Like ignore him. So I told her, I said, Paris, I was like, you're gonna have a good day today. I said, if that young man starts acting up, I said, he's doing it for attention. He's wanting attention, but he's trying to get attention in the wrong way. So the best thing for you to do is to ignore him and do not give him the attention that he is seeking. I said, if he comes up to you and says anything to you or your friends, y'all just walk away. Don't argue with him. Don't say nothing. Like, don't even fight with him. Just walk away. So that is how I told her to handle it. I also sent an email to her teacher. Um, but just tell me, like, how would you guys handle it? How would y'all handle that situation? What would you tell your kids? And I want to know where this little boy is getting this from, telling women that girls are weak and that he could hit her. What is he saying at home? Um, people, what are you teaching your kids? Like, I'm not the best parent, but, like, you don't teach your kids that. Like, it starts from a young age. So I just pray to God he doesn't turn out to be a woman abuser someday so but yeah what am I gonna get um so I don't know if you guys have tried it or not but Dunkin Donuts last year had a gingerbread coffee or cappuccino or gingerbread latte whatever the heck it is out of this world it is so good you don't need cream or sugar Um, yes, ma'am. Do you guys have the gingerbread lattes? No. <gasps> no! The gingerbread, that's Christmas. Oh, okay. 
Um, can I get a, spum, a pumpkin spice latte? Okay. Hmm. I don't know why I thought they would have gingerbread already. I guess it does make sense that it's a Christmas drink. But the holidays just run together to me. So I feel like when fall hits, y'all need to have all the flavors. Because they already have some Christmas flavors out in the coffee creamer at the grocery store. So, but Anyways, I'm done rambling, y'all. I just... You guys are my besties. Like, I have to talk to you like this. Y'all, I've never had the avocado toast from Dunkin' Donuts. It's hilarious. Look at it. I don't know why I think it's funny, but I could have swore in the picture there was, like, bacon bits on it, which makes it not healthy, but whatever. You know me. Bacon makes it better. And then I thought for sure that my pumpkin spice latte that I ordered, I thought that I got it hot. Which it's all right. Let me see. It's too sweet. Or should I just want the Starbucks? Try this avocado toast. Mmm. Okay, I like this. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm this is good. And this bread is like sourdough. This is good. I recommend this. So we're at the salon. I am about to put this little thing together. I'm gonna see if I can prop y'all up somewhere so you can see me. I didn't bring my tripod. I don't know why I didn't. This is where I'm gonna be. Hopefully you can see me okay. because I didn't have dry brushes to blend. Um, guess who's here with us? Say hi, Perry. Come on and say hi. Hi. <laughs> I just picked her up from school and we're just grabbing a snack real quick at Chick-fil-A and then she's going to her Nana and Poppy's house. How's your day? Good. Tell the people. It was fun. Um... Are you happy it's Friday? Yes. There was an unfun part at lunch because there was tons of bees. And I think it was because I had cake sand things in that. Ooh. I had cake hand sanitizer. Mm. Oh, I missed you today, Paris. Alicia? Yeah. Can I get um a Polyne can I get a couple of Polynesians and then a couple barbecues? Here, you have a drink holder? It's cool with my Okay. Thanks, you're the best. You have a good day? You too. Oh. That's my fault. That's my fault. Can Thank you. you it's okay. Thanks. You too. 
dropped my sauce. Honey, this Polynesian sauce, I could just drink it. It's so good. <laughs> but I am not going to record and drive because I got to get on the highway. But um, I think this is going to be the end of the vlog because there's not going to be anything else going on today. I have to go home and do schoolwork after I drop Miss Perry off. Do you want to... You are Miss Perry. Huh? Miss Rose. Miss Rose. Okay, Miss Rose. I gotta drop Miss Rose off. I'm driving a. What is it called? Daisy. Driving Miss Daisy. Oh Jesus! I gotta get off here. Okay. Um. Thank you so much for tuning into this vlog, and I hope you all enjoyed it. Please make sure you give us a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Love you. Mwah! Mm-hmm. <laughs>